What's going on guys? So we are out here at the 2021 Vanley Beacon fifth wheel. This is an absolutely beautiful full body paint, full profile. It has five slides, three on the other side, two on this side. It has a raised rear deck with storage all underneath it. Absolutely gorgeous fifth wheel. And it's been a while since I've done a walkthrough of this unit. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough to show you what this thing's all about. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so we are stepping up into this 42 RDB. This is a Vanley Beacon. One of the first things you see is this really cool spider control. Very, very cool. It gives you all sorts of information, all your lighting controls. You can turn everything off and on at the same time. You have awning and porch lights outside. Everything is touch screen. It is a very, very cool interface. Um, I still personally kind of prefer the standard panels with the switches and knobs, just because you gotta kind of scan around this. What I did find out through reviewing this is that all of the switches on the wall are wireless and they all wirelessly connect to this. So you don't have wires ran throughout this entire unit as much as some. You don't have wires going to switches then switches going to lights. All the switches are controlled wirelessly. So that is really cool. Okay, first thing you wanna notice is all the woodwork in here. Almost anywhere you look, you see just a tremendous amount of incredibly good looking woodwork in this unit. Let's take a look at the lighting. This is just a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. And it's all real wood, real hard woods. Very, very nice finish. Gonna step up here real quick. Start by taking a look at the restroom. That's a shower curtain and rod that we just hang up whenever we're camping, so it kind of blocks this area out in case somebody needs to come in and you know brush their teeth or something while somebody's showering. You have a really nice solid surface countertop here, nice basin sink that's undermounted, medicine cabinet here on the side. On this side, you have your controls for your Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water system, which is really, really cool. Again, all of these buttons here are wirelessly synced to the main control, so there's no wires behind here. You replace the batteries in here about once a year. I think they last even longer than that, and they control just about everything from each one of these pads wirelessly. You have a sprayer down here to spray out your toilet, which is really nice. A nice seat inside here. So a big update on this seat. I was one of those people who questioned the integrity of these seats and how well they would hold up. Well, it's been holding up really well. I think the biggest issue we've had with the shower assembly is there was a small air bubble underneath part of the fiberglass here and we had to get a company to come out and fix that. But Vanley had someone come out very quick to fix that for us and there was no charge for that. The flooring is really interesting in this unit because this is not your traditional rolled out linoleum flooring. These are all individually hand laid vinyl tiles just like you would in a residence and they grout everything together. So you have a beautiful, beautiful floor in this unit. I love the amount of space you have here between the end of the bed and your wardrobe as well. All the drawers are really nice and they are all soft closing, which is really nice. Behind here is the pre-installed Splendid washer and dryer stackable units. Had a bit of a water flow issue when we first tried to use these, but it fixed itself after one or two uses and now it works really well. I don't see us going without a washer and dryer in future units. This is just awesome to have. To get all your clothes done before you pack up is really great. And to not have to pack as many clothes or have to use a clubhouse. King size bed, something they do that is absolutely brilliant is they lower the bed height about four inches. So instead of the bed being up here, it's down lower, much easier to get on, especially considering this portion of the bed back here is in a slide. So you don't have to worry about climbing up high and then crawling over to get to the back of the bed. It's all in a really, really comfortable and easy to access location. Really beautiful, beautiful woodwork and trimming around the bedroom. Something else that's really nice is the use of soft touch ceiling material. So this is all soft touch, similar to what you would see in a higher end class A motorhome. Also, this is a true whisper quiet, fully ducted three air conditioner RV. So this has three 15,000 BTU air conditioners, one right here, one over the kitchen and one over the living room. And it's fully ducted. Plus they put larger return airs in. So it pulls more air in and it squeezes the air through smaller ducting. So it gives you more air pressure and volume in each room where you have air coming out. And you can run all three simultaneously off of a 50 amp connection service. I absolutely love the valances around the window the day-night roller shades, the headboard's beautiful, and these super tall slides are really nice. You never have to worry about hitting your head on them. Here in the closet, 
it's a bit of a mess right now, but we have the central vac system under here that we kind of store everything in when we're not using it. You have motion detection lights, really nice solid wood shelves. You have some shoe racks back here, plus you have a nice area to hang your clothes. You have power ports on the ends of the bed here, plus you have USB connections here. And something else that's really nice is they put your lighting control right here next to your head. So whenever you're going to bed, you can kill all the lights in the RV altogether, or just turn on your lights for reading. It gives you a lot of control there. And again, all of these are wireless. So working our way up, I'm sure you saw the TV mounted on the wall already. These lights here on the floor are all motion detection lights. You'll see them come on as we get closer to those lights over there. The kitchen, this is something else. It is just absolutely gorgeous. From the lighting to all the trim work to the mirrors, everything in this kitchen is beautiful and it's executed well. Now, in previous videos, I talked to you about the doors on the refrigerator. This is a wooden overlay on the door. And from the top, you can see how it kind of spaces off of the LG refrigerator about three inches, maybe two and a half inches here on the back. And if you do not opt to get this wood paneling here, you'll see the stainless steel curve of the refrigerator and the doors to the refrigerator actually clear these cabinets right here. So when you open up the cabinet, you have these cables up top that prevent the cabinets from hitting this wood. But if you don't opt to get this wood panel here, these cabinets open much, much further and you don't have to worry about that but you can see tons and tons of storage in this kitchen. There is absolutely loads of storage in here. Drawers galore, all soft closing. You got more drawers here. This is where you have your control panels for your breakers and all of your fuses. This is a nice real stone backsplash. Very, very nice material huge storage right here. Now, I wasn't too sure what this was. Maybe it was a spot for a refrigerator or like a wine fridge, something like that. But it's just a massive, massive spot that we've just chose to throw some of the larger stuff in. Nice marble, solid surface countertop. You have a roller shade back here. Everything's backlit. Again, stone back here. Has the Insignia four burner residential stove oven, which is really nice. More drawers here, plenty of room around the cook area to prep and cook, which I love. I don't like it when RVs squeeze the stove in between cabinets and refrigerators because it just doesn't give you anywhere to put the pot handles and it seems as if everything's cramped when you're trying to cook, especially if you're cooking a large meal with several pots on the burners at once. That's why if you do that and you don't have much space, I'd prefer a three burner. That way you can have one burner centralized and you can move the pot handle over without it being over another burner. Coming around this way, the island, you have more drawers, cabinetry. This is a single large basin sink, stainless steel. Very nice high-end residential faucet. Again, solid surface countertop. They give you plenty of room on this side to be able to cook different things. We put our foodie right here to cook, which is really cool. It's a perfect space for it. And whenever we are prepping, we can prep over this. So any of the you know crumbs, any of the seasoning spices that falls into the sink. That is our coffee station area. It's a really, really good spot for it. And people ask, where's the plug? Well, the plug is underneath here. And that's the case with a lot of RVs. So if you don't see a plug on the back wall, it's typically gonna be underneath. This way you have more cabinets here, more storage here. This is another great spot for a coffee station or even a small little workstation. You have more drawers here. You have a wine fridge right here, which is beautiful. Coming around this way, you have a really cool kind of freestanding uh, table area. This is a beautiful dinette. These chairs right here fold and these chairs stay out. I would personally prefer four of those versus two of these and two of those, only because I like to keep the chairs out. I don't like everything being all scrunched up together and I feel you kind of have to do it when you go this route. I know why they did this because typically a couple is gonna own this and you know just give them the comfortable chairs and if they have guests over, you have these folding chairs. So I get the logic behind it. And then you have the day night roller shades, which is really cool. These are gonna be your day, these are gonna be your night. Basically, this is like a mesh material. It gives you some privacy and this completely blocks out any light coming in. So you can close the whole thing off at night and not have to worry about light coming in. Again, beautiful, beautiful valances. Absolutely gorgeous lighting. Fantastic job in here. You can see both lights are on now. Again, motion controlled. 
you have to love the Franklin furniture. A lot of people notice this in the initial video. Almost all residential furniture has these little, these little, I don't know, price tag ties on them. I really don't know why. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. But this is residential furniture, and it's one of the reasons why you see that. This is also the most comfortable furniture I have ever seen in an RV. I am not even kidding you. This furniture is super, super plush, super soft. It doesn't have that cold leather feel to it. It's just amazing, and I love this furniture. Plus, you have the ability to recline the back and even the headrest, which is super cool. You have lit up cup holders over here. You have controls for your lighting right here, accent lighting, living room lighting, and the lights above the sofa. You have more lights on the sides here, which you control by little switches on them. More cabinets here for storage. You have a really nice wide view Furion fireplace, and you have a televator. So this raises up and you have a 55 inch LG TV underneath there. And it's really nice. I like this entire setup. We've actually kept the TV down the last couple times we've been out and we just open up all the windows and it's beautiful just to have all the natural light coming in through here. Both of these fold out into beds. So ideally you could sleep, what, two, four, six people in here, maybe more if you have you know smaller kids that are gonna be sleeping there. But again, they've just done a really good job with this unit. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this unit has an MSRP of about $144,000, $145,000. But that doesn't mean that's how much you're going to pay for it. I think typically if you go to a dealership, you're probably going to pay closer to about one fifteen dollars for a unit like this. And I think that that makes it a really good value. Because when you compare it to other units, first of all, I don't care what you look at, you're likely not going to see an interior as beautifully crafted as this. This has to be the nicest interior of any fifth wheel I've been in. I've seen interiors from New Horizon. I've seen it from DRV, from Redwood, Lux. They're all beautiful. They're all great. But I think that this is a step above from an interior perspective. When you look at frame and chassis, some of the things on the outside, this falls into the premium side, but not the ultra premium side. So from a frame chassis suspension perspective, you know, DRV is going to have a step up above this. Lux is going to be a step up above this. So the interior of this beats out the interior of those, but the chassis of those tend to beat out the chassis of this, but they also weigh significantly more. So this unit's going to have what, an 18,500 pound, roughly GVWR unloaded. It's going to be about 16,000 pounds. So it is considerably lighter than those other brands. And you still get a beautiful interior like this. In terms of the sidewalls, the sidewalls on this unit are two inches thick versus a three inch thick sidewall you'd see on a Lux, a DRV or a Riverstone. But we haven't had any issue with it. The three AC units in here do a phenomenal job. The furnace in here does a phenomenal job. This has massive holding tanks. Can't remember the exact specs off the top of my head, but they are on the website, so you could check that out. But what I can tell you is, is in the extreme heat, the walls get slightly warm, but they don't get what I would consider to be uncomfortably warm. And again, the three ACs do a really, really good job of keeping the cool air in and the hot air out. At the end of the day, guys, I really like this. We really like this. I just wanted to do another walkthrough of it because it's been a while and, you know, we really haven't had many issues. The biggest issue I think we had was the TV wiring. They switched to a newer generation LG TV and the wires for the HDMI and everything were on this side, whereas the previous year they were all on that side. So they had ran the wires over and then had to ran them back over here to this side and we cut a wire when it was lowering. So we had to replace that and it took me about an hour to do uh, on a weekend when I came out here and I made a whole video on replacing all of that. Aside from that, uh, the cabinets right there, they weren't adjusted to take uh, into account the refrigerator with the wooden doors on it so the cabinets would make contact with the wooden door. Um, so I just adjusted the little straps at the top and fixed that problem. Um, the shower pan again, they had to fix that. I'm trying to think of anything major. Nothing really major comes to mind. This unit has really been great. We've had a lot of fun in it. And, you know, we have it for a few more months. We're going to enjoy it. We'll take it out on probably two, maybe three more trips and just spend as much time in it as we can, at least until our new unit comes in. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of this brand new Van Lee Beacon 42 RDB. They have that new two-tone kind of color. You have this really, really beautiful white linen interior over here and i forgot what they call this color but it is absolutely gorgeous the contrasting between the two anyways if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon